So, you want a cheap and easy way to set up a Minecraft server on your local computer, allowing your friends to join without much lag? Then this video is just for you. Alright, so there are multiple methods, different ways to allow you to host a Minecraft world on your local machine and allow other people to join you. First and simple one would be to start up a single player world, just any single player world. And you want to just click on escape here, uh, go over to open to LAN. Just want to select that, leave your port number as it is, and start LAN world. So now you'll see that your local game hosted on port in the in the chat there. And now anyone that's connected to your Wi-Fi will be able to join. They'll be able to join your, your world, just like I have here. They'll be able to join, and you guys will be able to play together. Now this is only if you are both on the same network, on the same Wi-Fi. Now let's say that's not the case. You have a friend over in Indonesia and you're in Australia and you want to play games together. How you would do that is using a different method. The second method involves a third-party website here that's called Adernos. So you want to open up Google Chrome and you want to type in Adernos, just like that, and it'll be the first link. You want to open that and you'll see Minecraft servers free forever, right? You just want to click on play and you'll get the option to make an account. You just want to make your own account. And then in the server section, I already have a server here, but you can create one. You can name it whatever you want. This one's going to be called just my name and then adernos.me. Just hit create. And it'll take a second. I, I do advise you turn off your ad blocker. I'm going to keep mine on anyway. But this will constantly annoy you if you have an ad blocker on. But uh, as soon as you've done that, as soon as you have this uh, here, you want to, uh, let's say, for example, you're... Uh, you're playing on a cracked version of Minecraft. You can go over to the options here and you can turn on cracked for people that use T-Launcher and um, other things. I'm not too sure of the cracked versions of Minecraft, but you can turn on the cracked version here and then uh, people can join you from there using the IP and the port. Uh, but we're going to be using regular old Minecraft. You just want to click on start. Yes, I accept. And then you want to make sure that you have this IP copied. It's going to take a second to start the server. It might even give you an ad, typically. So you want to click on multiplayer, you want to click on add server, and you want to paste your server address. So we're just going to call this uh, test, for example, as you can see. Now, it's preparing. The server is not online yet. As you can see, it's preparing. I will come back once it has fully launched. And we are back. So, two things to note here is the timer and the fact that this will take a decent amount of time at first when you're making a new server depending on your computer it could take about two to five minutes and uh, that would be because it's making an entire new world it's generating an entire world file right and you can tweak that you can add your own world for example like if i go to worlds here uh, you're gonna have to deal with this ad blocker thing if you have an ad blocker on and you'll have to uh, as you can see here you can change the files of your own world you can change yeah you know, right now it's not going to let me you can even generate a new world force upgrade all that good stuff upload download you can change the world file uh so let's say for example you have a single player world you already have and you want your friends to play in that world you can upload that um file right here by clicking the upload button right now it's not going to let me the button's grayed out because the server's on and speaking of the server um, it's just a random generator world for me right now. Uh, the second thing to mention was the timer. Um, you'll have to join the server and keep it occupied uh, for this timer to stop ticking, right? So if there's nobody in the server, if there's detected that no one's using the server, it'll automatically shut down. So if I go over here, you'll see that the server, it says it's preparing. If I just hit the refresh, the test will show up. I just want to click on that. And as you can see here, uh, you load in just fine and i'm on a minecraft server when i hold tab here um, i'm hosting a minecraft server on my computer and uh, uh to to host a server uh without much lag and um with with relative smoothness you're gonna need a decent wi-fi connection and suitable amounts of ram as you can see here um this is taking up 35 percent of my computer's ram already like 2450 uh, megabytes of RAM, that's how much it's allocated to this specific um, process. That's how much RAM it's allowed, and it's taking up around 30% of it. So you need a decent computer if you want to host a server. Otherwise, if your friend has a better computer, he can host the world for you. But that would be the second method 
to host a Minecraft world and to play together with your friends. Um, if this method is not to your liking, there is another one. Um, you use mods, you will be using Curse Forge, and I'll show you that just now. All right, so you're not satisfied with the other two methods, and you want to use mods, for example, to host a Minecraft server. So what you want to do is you want to open Chrome, and you want to type in essential, just like so. E W -S, S E N T I A L essential mod. And you'll see essential mod home. This is the first thing that will show up. You just want to click on that, click on download, and it'll download the essential mod installer. I already have one of these, so I'm just going to delete that. You want to run this, click on yes, and wait for it to load up, just like so. Uh, you want to cr uh, just create a new profile, and you want to you can change your launcher, you can change the mod loader. Uh, I'm going to choose Forge because I prefer that, and um, you're just going to hit create. And you'll see here that it's going to install Forge and things. And you'll see, uh, there you go, launch. You just want to click launch. You can delete the installer afterwards, and you'll just have the essential mod. You can rename it to just essential as well if you'd like. Uh, or just rename that. Make it essential. It's like so. And uh, this will take a minute to load. Uh, but once it does, you'll be able to load into a world with the essential mod installed. Once it loads up, you will get a screen just like this. This is the essential mod about essential. You can get some information right here, um, but we're not here for that. You can add accounts, you can add all kinds of things, and most importantly, the social tab. You want to click on all these, just hit on continue, give it a second, and you will see that um, uh, you get a list of your friends. So all your friends here, you can add some. Add a friend, you'll be able to add them with their Minecraft username, and uh, using that, you can host your worlds and then you can invite them so i can host a world uh and it says no worlds found just create your own uh whatever just create a new world and you will see that it should open up just fine here there we go all right so now you're able to uh, let's just close that out you're able to invite people to this world now if I, if I go to the escape tab here, uh, I can invite any of my friends. Just proceed and allow. If it asks you to click on anything, just click on allow. And you'll be able to set the difficulty, enable or disable cheats, share RP. I'm not too sure what that is. I think, okay, resource pack. Interesting. I have not noticed that option. Uh, you can change the game mode. And then you just want to select next. And you want to invite anybody you want. That'll automatically host your world. And you'll be able to play with your friends through the Essential mod. Essential is honestly a very good way to host your worlds. It doesn't lag much and you don't have to uh, start up any servers or take any time. It's just right into it. You just open Minecraft and you'll automatically be able to invite and play with any of, any of your friends as long as you know their username and they know yours, of course. So you can invite and play with them all you want. There's no pesky ads that you have to look at. There's no... Uh, server AFK timers, and you, like um, if you're AFK in the server for Edernos, for example, the server will automatically shut down. But the same does not apply to Essential. So I hope this video has been useful to you and you found uh, the method that suits you. And you guys will have fun with all your friends playing Minecraft, and I'll catch you guys a different time.